don't forget to subscribe and like. Give yourself a share and my And make sure your daughters love this. <laughs> make sure you show the kid, the daughters, right? All the girls. Let's get them into ice fishing and fishing, right? <laughs> Help Uncle Kid find a girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, girls. Bye. All right, everybody, welcome back to My Pop Fishing. This is Grandy, and today I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video. Uh, I'm actually kind of going through my ice gear, kind of prepping for the ice season and everything. And you know what? I figured I might as well kind of talk about what I have, what I'm using. I don't have unlimited funds, obviously, and I just got enough stuff and enough gear that's gonna be sufficient for my needs and obviously my daughter's needs. So uh, two of them are usually old enough to go out with me and everything, so I'll get into that. Uh, my third child, though, my third oldest, uh, she's she's contemplating going ice fishing this year, so we'll, we'll definitely see. If I can get her out in the ice and uh, we'll talk a little bit more. They're my camera girls, I guess you can say. So hopefully they'll they'll be awesome and they can uh, get me recorded and everything. So let's start with the first thing here. So the most important thing, um, I just want to let everybody know, you are going to need ice rods. Uh, as I mentioned, you, you don't really need fancy, super fancy ice rods or anything. And you know, just whatever, if you're just jumping into it, I would, like I said, recommend going with somebody who has gear. Also just recommend you going with somebody who knows what they're doing. So just kind of give you a heads up. Um, but this is my, my case for my ice rods. Uh, I do have several custom rods and I'll show you guys the link uh, and the reasoning behind my madness on that in a little bit here. But uh, I actually just picked this one up this year. This is uh, my new uh, ice rod holder and I have another one I'll show you guys in a second here but I got this one it's like a kind of a soft pack but on top of that I can wear it as a backpack so this is going to be crucial for me especially when I have my kids with me and I, if I'm pulling the flip over sled and everything and the less amount of stuff I have in my hands is you know obviously better so uh, I have here this one holds I believe eight come here, you can come on closer Scotty so show everybody here. As you can see, um, it holds eight here. And I'm going to the custom rods real quick here. You can see right here, it holds tackle boxes and everything on this. So that's kind of the cool thing. As you can see, I can fit a lot of tackle boxes. It holds up, like I said, eight rods up to, I believe 36 inches. Uh, and this is gonna work perfect for me this year. So yeah, we'll go in this rod. We'll go in this rod real quick. And, and this one is, um, here, you can zoom in a little bit, honey. Boom. So this one is my power, it's a power noodle rod. This is by Saki Fishing. This is a, uh, I believe it's a 32 incher split grip, as you can see, nice and pink. My kids love to use it. So, you know, go figure, uh, they love the color. But as you can see right here, super, super sensitive right here, as you can see the tip. And I'm gonna put a link, um, check right here. I'll put the link, I did a you know tutorial or I guess a video defining what a power noodle is, the, the pros and cons of that. So make sure you guys check out that video I did, a, 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 I think last year or a year or two ago, so make sure you guys check that one out. Um, but this one's definitely for sensitive bites and everything. It's got enough backbone, obviously. I've caught uh, some pretty large fish on this one before. And this one is another one uh, from Saki Fishing here. Let me take a look. And this one's more of a medium. As you can see, um, it doesn't have quite uh, the bend on the tip, obviously. This one, this rod is, is meant primarily for like larger fish, I would say lake trout. I've actually caught several uh, hybrid striped bass or wipers on this rod, and I love it. I love the fight that it gives, and also it has a ton of backbone, so you can definitely catch the, uh, the bigger species of fish. And then obviously I used a little bit of a heavier um, spoon because they can handle it because the tip is not so flimsy in regards to the presentation on that so so this one's super short as you can see and it's got the um the styrofoam i guess you can say handle when it first came out it's got, i forgot i have to look it up but this one's from thorn brothers there you go you see so this one's from thorn brothers this is uh 
a custom ice rod that I'm never ever, this is like the original power noodle. And I'm starting to obviously target the, the catfish. So uh, shout out to our beer fish fanatic sponsor, Whisker Seeker Tackle. So this one is the 38 inch uh, medium heavy rods. And these are for catfishing. I'm gonna be catfishing. So I have two of them. I have this one is the casting rod. So I'm gonna put a obviously a little uh, casting reel. So I'm gonna it has a seat for a casting reel. I'm gonna be putting that one on. I have another one that's for a spinning rod. So these are gonna be my babies to target the catfish. That was my goal this year. You guys probably saw in my other videos. I'm gonna try and catch some catfish. So so those are those are pretty much my rods. A lot of people are like, why do you need so many rods? You don't. <laughs> You don't really need that many rods. Obviously, you just need one rod. But the thing is, it's out of convenience uh, for me. There actually, there's two reasons why I have so many rods. And one of them, when it's 20 below, 10 below, whatever the case may be, I don't want to be out there tying, retying different lures. So each one of these rods, I actually put specific lures, uh, so I don't have to retie. And especially in cold weather, you can take off your gloves, you're gonna have to tie, it's, um, it sucks. So just kind of give everybody a heads up on that. That's the, re that's the main reason why I have so many rods is that I have a spoon or I have a tungsten jig on it or I have a specific, um, just, just a plastic or whatever that case may be. So I have different lures, so different presentation, uh, different ways to, to target the fish. So I don't have to waste my time retying stuff in the cold. And as I was mentioning, I, I love to take my kids ice fishing. So obviously they, um, use one rod each and I gotta have plenty of rods for them. So that's pretty much the main reason. So that's, uh, why we have so many rods or why I have so many rods. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna be targeting catfish a lot more this year. And I have these contraptions, just kind of give everybody a heads up. These are called, jaw, uh, well, this one's a jaw jacker. I have two styles. So I have a jaw jacker right here. And then I have a automatic fisher, the snapper that I just purchased. So this was a new thing I purchased this year. There you go. So this is the new one. This is the snapper automatic fisherman I purchased this year. And this is the uh, jaw jacker that I've been using previous year. So just kind of give everybody heads up. What these do is um, they obviously stick on the ice. And when you drill the hole, you don't necessarily, and then, you know, in Iowa here, we get um, two poles per license and then you can purchase the third line. So the cool thing about it is that if you're targeting catfish or walleyes or anything that's biting maybe live bait and these are perfect. So, so what these do is obviously they just do, you set it up and they technically, once you put the rod in, if it, it detects a bite because it's going to be bent over like this once uh, it detects a bite these things automatically set the hook for you and then hopefully you got a fish on so i'm going to be doing a video this year so stay tuned this year uh, i'm going to do a comparison of these two some people live and die by the jaw jacker some people hate the jaw jacker prefer the automatic fisherman so i got this one the snapper i'll try it out this year i'll see which one i like or i mean just the pros and cons of each one so make sure you guys stay tuned on that if you guys are interested in in purchasing these so and i just bought these these the the new mucks um arctic tall one i'm gonna try these out i'll let you guys know how these are one thing i do recommend when it comes to ice fishing uh just make sure you guys putting more money into the boots that's the only thing that's touching the ice so don't go cheap. I kind of went cheap previously on some boots and your feet will get cold and it's just, you know, it could get wet, all that stuff. I highly recommend, you know, getting some really good boots because if you're gonna be out there four, five, six, seven days, whatever the case may be, you're gonna want to protect your feet as best you can. So invest a little bit of money. And I got this, this is uh, my adapter for my auger is the clam one and I have a DeWalt um, drill on it. It's a brush list, highly recommend that. Just kind of give everybody a heads up. This thing connects to the uh, an auger, a laser. I had a, uh, what you gonna call it? A uh, Strike Master laser. And right now I just messaged all my friends. I can't find my auger. That's why you don't see the attachment. I may have left it in somebody's um, truck when we were ice fishing last year. So crossing my fingers, I can find it. If not, Guess I'm gonna have to splurge and get a new auger this year. Uh, I know there's like those pistol bits. I know there's like those nails auger, those, um, the K drills, all of them work just good. The ions, everything work just as good. Uh, I, I've tried them all, I love them all, but use what you got. If you don't have to buy a new one every year, you don't have to, but I upgraded. Um, I still have my original flashers. So these are fish finders, electronics. 
Um, highly recommend it. I wouldn't fish without it, honestly. I wouldn't ice fish without it. So I have the the Markham LX Five I here in this one. So this one has been my trusty, you know, flasher the past several years, and I've taken it and I've actually upgraded it on the back of it, not with a lithium battery. I kind of rigged it so where I use my Dewalt battery. So what I did on this one, um, I just changed the power adapter so that I can use my uh, lithium batteries from my Dewalt, and you can see it's kind of a, um, I think it was a 12 volt. Yep. 12 volt, and then you just connect the DeWalt batteries from your drills. You just snap it in right there, and it's super light. I'll see if I can find the, the link. I'll post it for you guys in the notes of how to do that. And I'm telling you, it takes so, you know, you don't have to carry that, the, those big sealed lead acid batteries. I mean, it's just so much easier, and it's even way better than uh, purchasing a, a lithium battery, a 12 volt, volt lithium battery, because those are, you know, somewhat still clunky and everything. Think about this. I, I use all DeWalt stuff. So all the batteries I keep in a bag and I keep it on my, or I put it in myself in my pockets, keep it warm. So I can, not only can I use it for my uh, fish finder, I can use it for my auger. So new this year for me, I know the live scope, everybody's got it. Uh, it's the greatest thing out there. I can't justify the affordability of that. I mean, to pay, I don't know, boss lady would probably yeah, have a heart attack if I spent like $2,500 or $3,000 on a fish finder. Just couldn't justify that. Um, but what I did do was upgrade to a Garmin Panoptics. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because um, on this thing, I can use this thing uh, with my kids inside the flip up and we can just use one screen. So that's, that's kind of the, the thing about that. And then I'm also gonna use this Panoptics to kind of do a search and destroy mission. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna use this, hopefully if I'm by myself um, on the ice, is to use this to locate the fish while just drilling one hole. And then that way I can use my flasher. So I'm gonna find the fish, use my flasher to be quickly just go drill, let's say it's 10, 20 feet, whatever the case may be, walk over there, I'll go ahead and just go there and just drill the hole, use my flasher. That's that's kind of my train of thought of what I'm thinking of doing. Will it work or not? We'll see this year. You guys stay tuned and I'll let you guys know how it goes. But this is the Panoptics. This is the uh, Garmin Panoptics. Um, it's, a, it's a step up from obviously this. It's just right in between and price point obviously it's good. I can, you know, obviously afford that in that sense, you know, just to upgrade. But like I said, my kids and myself in the same tent, we're gonna be using this. I'm excited. It has the, uh, the ice package, transducer and everything. I'm gonna be upgrading to a lithium battery on this so I don't have to uh, hopefully carry the whole mother load, the weight of it, but we'll see uh, how I do this year on the ice. Hopefully this helps me get onto more fish. That's kind of, you know, all the, the little gears that I have I'm gonna be using this year. So we'll see how we do. And stay tuned for a second here. We're gonna go outside and we're gonna take a look at the flip over that I have and the uh, pop-up hub. I needed to air it out anyway, so I'm gonna set that up. You guys can take a look. Um, not the most extravagant one, but it works for myself and my kids. All right, so um, let's take a look at, you know, what we have in regards to our flip over now. Um, nothing I I extravagant, right, buddy? <laughs> And there we go. So you kind of see this guy, it's just a two man regular flip over. Um, I use it for the kids, like I said, it's um, just a regular two seater in there, as you can see. And you know, I, I'm not the smallest cat, but I'm able to fit another chair right in between there. The kids just kind of sit in here and uh, do you like it, honey? It's just really quick and easy, uh, simple flip over. You know, I highly recommend if, you know, as I mentioned, you know, if money is the case, this is not even a, a um, Insulated, holy cow, I can't even think of the word. So plan right now is out of stock because I was gonna actually purchase the insulated uh, cover for this uh, Nanook one, but uh, they're out of stock at the moment. So hopefully once that is in stock, that's something I'm gonna purchase for myself and the kids. But super easy, it's got the sled and everything. So I can just put all the gear and stuff real fast. And you know, the kids just kind of sit there and you know, make my fat ass pull them all. So that's pretty much it on that. So um, we have another guest. Hi, Nova. Hi. <laughs> um, so just kind of give everybody a heads up. I actually have another a pop-up party tent that we actually use too, uh, where we have a lot of people, a lot of guests. So it's kind of, well, technically they say it's an eight-man tent, but honestly, I think uh, five to six is probably the most comfortable we can fit in this. So here is, let me see, show everybody. So here you go. 
This is the uh, eight man party tent, I guess you can say. So it's kind of pretty much like two hubs, a pop up that are stuck together. Go ahead, bud, open it up, unzip it here. And go ahead, go inside girls. And just kind of give everybody a heads up and go inside. And there's plenty of room. I mean, I love it. It's good for the kids. As you can see, they run around, they love it, especially in the ice season. All right, girls, so are we ready for ice season, ice fishing? Are we ready? Yeah. yeah. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and like. You're so ice and my podcast. Make sure your daughters love this. <laughs> Make sure you show the kid, the daughters, right? All the girls. Let's get them into ice fishing and fishing, right? Uncle Kim really had girlfriend. <laughs> Help Uncle Kim find a girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good, girls. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed that and got an opportunity to, to really see the kind of gear I have and everything that I'm gonna be working with this year. Uh, just to give everybody a heads up, man, it doesn't really matter if you have custom rods, just get the kids out. My kids probably could care less if I had custom rods or not. They just love being outdoors. They love ice fishing. So get out there. If, if you've never done it before, you know, reach out to somebody who you know has all the gear. You'll have a great time. Just enjoy yourselves out there. Other than that, do what my daughter said. Subscribe, follow, um, then. Till next time, guys.